Hello and welcome back to another episode of Power Rangers Lore. Today we're going to talk about none other than the mighty, magnificent Pumpkin Rapper. Yes, his impl name implies that he is a rapper who is also a pumpkin. And just like normal Power Rangers monsters, that's essentially how it works. Yes, he's a pumpkin rapping monster and is the main antagonist up to a few different episodes, but the main ones being Trick or Treat and Zed's Monster Mash. Now, with raps like, oh, you rangers make me mad, wake me up with a rap that bad, you can't compete with these these amazing raps. Like, I don't know what you can throw out to him that can easily defeat such an imposing force. Now, he was planted off screen by Squat and Babu in a pumpkin patch and hidden amongst others so people wouldn't recognize it, though most people don't go to a pumpkin patch going, you know what, this pumpkin looks evil. It might eat me later. Let's tell the Power Rangers. No one thinks that. No no one goes, but maybe in, if you live in the actual universe, probably. But, you know, never going to think that, hey, this thing's going to possibly destroy me. Whatever. Well, this was only done, apparently, because they knew Halloween was approaching, and Goldar told him to put there, and Rita approved once she realized that Kimberly had gone on a game show and was like, going, oh, the pumpkin will throw her off. No one will see it coming. I don't know what the plan is beyond that. But it took a full week for the monster to grow into a giant pumpkin, which time Kimberly was on the game show, basically trying to win, but she had to be there every time. And it wouldn't be tear like her like last final round that Zordon was able to detect it as it started to visibly move, and they're probably going, hey, what the heck is pumpkins don't move like that? This isn't the great pumpkin. No, this is a false person. This is the pumpkin wrapper. Now the Rangers went to go deal with the issue. They're like, oh don't worry, Kimberly, we got this. And they get their heads trapped in pumpkins that are completely airtight. Yeah. Yeah, they get trapped in pumpkins. But don't worry, Kimberly was not trapped because she stayed behind and came back, runs over, and destroys the pumpkins with her blade blaster. Now all the remaining pumpkins in the area start like flying off because they're all connected to his probably vines and the like, and are forming into putties through these one of these pumpkins where heads should be basically the the putty's there, but the pumpkin head is there as well, showing a true horrendous Halloween theme. Now, the entire time, he is throwing raps at them, such as, Well, you think that's something you can't do? Well, I have some friends who'd like to meet you. Attack now, get them. You, you can't beat these lines, they're fantastic. Here, I'll throw another one over. Be the first one to block to feel the mega pumpkin shock. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, before, he said that right before electrocuting the Rangers with his mega pumpkin shock. Wow, you can't beat these lines, guys. You just can't. I don't know. I don't know what you. If you think you're better rapping than that, he, he's he'll defeat Eminem. Well, back to the main part of the episode. So Billy, uh, basically spies the giant pumpkin after they defeat the pumpkin horde of zombified putties, and they know like that's the the pumpkin rapper, and they decide they're gonna wake him up with an utter abysmal rap. Yeah, it's so bad and enranges the pumpkin rapper who calls out the raps is terrible and then uh, basically goes you know what I'm gonna deal with this whole thing he starts fighting him once again but he starts easily wrapping up that's when Tommy is summoned and cuts the fines with his dragon sword and I'm sorry dragon sword dragon dagger before uh, charging the pumpkin rapper then blasts him and starts throwing raps at him the entire time that's how it only talks but Tommy doesn't seem upfazed by anything because he's heard better rapping apparently and grabs a monster, or maybe he's heard worse, you never know. Um, grabs a monster, strains them long enough for the Rangers to form the Power Blaster, let them do what they normally do best, which is charge their attack. Noticing this, Tommy references the Terminator and jump kicks his way out of there. And this just infuriates the pumpkin wrapper again, allowing the Rangers to finish him off with a single devastating blast. But this is not the end of the pumpkin rapper no that'd be too easy for as he once said maybe you did maybe but it's time to get sad because lord zed's power we're back and we're bad yeah oh god i would just be like oh god this guy again i'm out of here because he is resurrected in the doomstone's haunted forest or lord zed's haunted forest to help him destroy tommy and make the rangers much weaker because they realize tommy 
kept doing literally everything. Right when they hit the Rangers defeated, Tommy would show up and save them all. Right when they were about to like annihilate the Rangers once and for all, Tommy would come out of nowhere and save them once again. Now after Goldar uh, kidnaps Tommy, Doomstone reveals Pump Rapper, Pumpkin Rapper, and Robo Goat to uh, grab his arms where he tries to morph and he sna they snatch it away his power which is the smartest thing you could possibly do for Tommy or any of the rangers just take their morpher and just throw it someplace I don't care throw it off a mountain they're never gonna find it now however Tommy easily kicks out both monsters as well as doomstone and runs away his manager to ably fend off even though he doesn't have his uh, morpher there but the entire the fight you know, it's weird because uh, the person who has decided to hold back and give moral support is none other than Pumpkin Rapper. Because, you know, he in truth, he's a true bard. He's there to give inspiration, and it just wasn't working. However, this doesn't do very well because he's the only one left standing as after all the other monsters are destroyed. And uh, he's like, ah, crap. Shortly after that, though... He is quickly saved by none other than Zord Lord Zed throwing a growth bomb that enlarges Pumpkin Raptor since he's the only competent monster left standing, left in the hunted monster, a uh, hunted forest, and then essentially he does battle against the Thunder Megazord and the White Tiger Zord, and proceeds to keep rapping. Just the line is, I'm getting bored with Tin Head Zords, we're gonna s fight, so say goodnight. Yeah. It hurts me to say these raps, I just want you guys to know that. Now mind you, he is later defeated by the Power Rangers and they're freed from the forest. And we go on from there. Now, years later, he is brought back again. Again, because you can't keep this guy down. Now he's seen helping Rita and Zed conquer uh, the Vika galaxy. And he's probably recreated by Finster in truth, but they could have brought him back. You never know. But they apparently they needed the moral support. I don't know. Maybe they just wanted somebody to help us go on there. But he's only he's finally defeated once and for all by the Zordon energy wave that turns him into dust. Because technically he's made from special clay. And that he is. He is annihilated completely. Now, man, this guy has been through some hell and back. Literally, his entire career is based on joke. But people keep loving this guy. And I don't understand why. <laughs> now, if you guys ever hear any of his raps... He's really annoying, and in, what was probably the most annoying thing for the Rangers to deal with. Now, he is essentially just upside-down pumpkin with the orange body and a green mane for his vines and other foliage there. He had his flower vines, which conjures up long green flowers via to ensnare his opponents, essentially. I don't know where they exactly extended from. Sometimes they put his arms, sometimes it was just from the ground itself. And he also used them to do his Mega Pumpkin Shock, which basically electrifies his targets. Um, he would be able to create his own, basically, pumpkin-headed putties. Yes. Which is kind of cool. Kind of hor kind of horrifying in, like, how he did that. But kind of cool. He also had his Pumpkin Bombs because he's going off the Green Goblin there. But, you know, that's actually his whole energy true. And he has Energy Beam Rings that basically form out of his eyes or what he uses as eyes. But that is the true arsenal of the Pumpkin Rapper. This guy is brought to you guys for none other than Halloween. So I thought of anybody who's going to be brought up for Halloween themed, it is definitely the Pumpkin Rapper. Thank you guys. Have a good one. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And may the power protect you always.